respected dear family members my pranams to you from yesterday onwards we were discussing about the scientific and traditional methods on maintaining our health and also becoming a healthy individual through different pathways one should always know that wherever you are living whichever country you are living whichever location you are living the possibility of get, getting illness health problems mental health or physical health the possibility is inevitably present in every condition certain diseases are caused due to genetical abnormality and they are by from parents to the child they get some of the abnormalities some of the diseases we get when we travel from one place to another place some of the diseases we will be getting through air through water through food and some of the problems we get through the vegetables and cereals which we purchase from the market and prepare our day to day food in our own kitchen for the hereditary diseases genetical disorders we can do something to solve the problem in that case we can say we can do something only when you have to travel from here to bombay bangalore or some other places the environmental changes air based changes water based changes the food based changes that you are consuming while you are traveling there also you have got limitations because of the busy life you may be getting into some some secla shop or hotel or restaurant and you may be drinking or eating some food the environmental pollution can also create problem for you where you have got limitation to cope up with the here today i am going to tell you about the pesticides and insecticides used in the vegetables <clears throat> remember that there are two type of pesticides or insecticides used in the vegetables one type known as systemic pesticide they are put in the bottom of the tree nearer to the roots so that those pesticides will be absorbed by the plant and they will be in the leaves in the stem in the fruit in the flower for a long period about 10 15 weeks they are known as systemic pesticides which are present inside and for creating low negative effect from those type of vegetables the ideal method is purchase the vegetable and keep it for a longer period before using say for example if you are purchasing tomato purchase greenish red tomato and store for about 7 days then use it so that the vegetables internal biochemical changes and process can deactivate some of these systemic pesticides and also remember the vegetables in inside which the pesticide or insecticide is the wash it thoroughly with the baking soda or washing soda or soap you may feel really wonderful or surprising when i say wash with the soap 
but that is the method available for cleaning the vegetable. The second method through which the pesticides are spread in the surface of the vegetables, they are contact pesticides just sprayed over the fruits or the fruits get dipped into the pesticide. There the pesticide is present outside. Here the best suggestion purchase the vegetables which has got a removable skin, removable coat. For example, elephant siam you have got. Elephant's foot is there. Colocasia is there. And pumpkin is there. Ash god is there. Where you can remove the skin. Purchase and use as many vegetables as possible having removable skin. Then another option you have got lady's finger, bitter god, snake god, then so many other vegetables where there is no skin at all. There you have got another system also, cabbage, onion, cauliflower. So where you have got the skin in the vegetables, remove the skin and thoroughly wash using washing soda or baking soda or soap. Thoroughly wash. I use the word thoroughly washing. So that contact pesticide can be removed by 95%. Where there is no skin, before cutting wash thoroughly, before cutting wash thoroughly and after cutting also wash thoroughly. In the case of cabbage and onion, you remove the outer layer and then cut it and wash three or four or five times because each cabbage, each cauliflower, each onion has got treasure of pesticides inside can be removed only by washing washing using washing soda, baking soda or soap they will go, I assure you that they can be removed and uh, last point what I wanted to say we have always learned in our lower classes that we should close the vessel while cooking the vegetables. Now I am telling you an opposite of that. While boiling the vegetables, while cooking the vegetables, keep the lid open. Let the steam go out. With the steam, almost major part of the chloropesticide carbamate pesticide and phosphopesticides will be evaporated as an isotopic solution. This is ideal for systemic pesticide and contact pesticide. Thus pesticides can be removed about 90-95%. If you find it difficult to remove pesticides today, Remember that biomagnification of the pesticides will be taking place, which I will be explaining tomorrow again, next day again. Biomagnification, whatever pesticides you are consuming today through the vegetables, that will not be washed out. It will be deposited in our adipose tissue. It will be deposited in our fat, body fat. If you are taking 1 milligram pesticide through the vegetables for one year, about 300 milligram of the pesticide will be there in the body, it will not be washed out. Because they are all lipophilic pesticides, will be dissolved in, in oily surface. So remember that, remember, I am repeatedly telling, remember that a farmer will never stop using pesticides. He will be continuously using pesticides for getting maximum production of the vegetables. Because he should get a maximum return with a minimum investment for which the quality of the vegetables 
on observation should be very high. Quality of the vegetable should be very high on observation, looking. If a brinjal is bad by, from outside, if you are looking, nobody will purchase it. Whether it is lady's finger or anything, if it is bad, when you take in the hand and look into the hand, everyone will throw it. So it is the duty of the seller, it is the duty of the middleman, it is the duty of the farmer to see that external appearance of every vegetable should be kept in a fantastic attractive way for which a pesticide uses are inevitable. Inevitable. One acre vegetable needs 1 lakh rupees investment through fertilizer and pesticide. 1 acre or 1 hectare. Return will be 5 lakhs. Investment will be 1 lakh. So 1 lakh, fertilizer, 1 lakh rupees worth of fertilizer and pesticide. The part of which may be going, part of which may be going inside through our food items. So, we have got the duty and responsibility to see that our food items are perfect. The last point what I wanted to suggest, try to use colocasia, underground roots, where pesticides are generally minimum. Try to use papaya, banana, plantain type of vegetables where pesticides are not at all used. Try to minimize leafy vegetable if at all you are using. Wash it thoroughly with baking soda or washing soda or soap. So I have given you the correct picture. Systemic pesticide containing vegetables should be stored before cooking. And cook by opening the lid. Contact pesticides, thoroughly wash remove the skin and then only use. Thank you very much. My pronouns to you.